Before you watch this video and have a great time laughing, going, oh, this guy's so funny, I wish he was more popular than he is, go and watch my other video if you didn't see it, because it's the worst performing video I've ever made. Been doing YouTube consistently for a year and a half, nearly. Love to see progress, guys. Love to see progress on the channel. Feels good, man. Feels great. That's why I chose to wear this T-shirt today, because I'm Mr. Happy. <laughs> Usually a lot of the stuff that I watch on my channel I've never seen before whereas this I remember watching it quite a few times and I thought it was quite fun and my chair this here When I bought it it was broken. So every time I lean both of them as well both sides It's good. Anyway, I used to like this as a kid and I haven't watched it since I was a kid So I thought we'd watch it now as an adult and the premise of the show is misbehaved youths get sent to other parents that are really strict, a bit too strict, if you do ask, ask me. And then either they continue to rebel when they're out there, or they get better and come home and start being really nice to their parents. Because previously, they were really horrible to them. The episode I found is an hour, so that's gonna do my head in. Let's see what we can get out of this. If it's fun, well done. And if it's shit, oh, whatever. You can't make every video so good. Such as last video that was really good. That is my worst performing video. So go watch that one. Thank you so much. Let's watch World's Strictest Parent. <laughs> shit intro. Crap theme song. Parents piss me off. Just all low. Bullshit, really. Just keep going on and 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 on at me all the time. Just for nothing, really. My mortality. Oh my god. Oh, I'm not going to put that up again. I'm going to leave it down. The amount of times I lean on that. I was going to say my mortality is becoming more and more apparent to me every day as days go on. Before I know it, I'll be dead of old age as well. That's the thing. It's weird watching this because I'm on the parent's side. <laughs> I'm at the point in my life where I'm on the parent's side here. She slammed doors. She tried to like overpower me. And I think she knows she can overpower me. She just walks all over me, doesn't yeah. she? I don't know what I can say here without being problematic. Just use th forms of threats. Why don't you, mum, threaten to take a mattress away or suffocate her in her sleep? <sighs> I think she goes to school for a joke and a laugh and to intimidate the teachers. It's like the teachers, oh, I hate them. They're like assholes. they are. They're like moan at you for the most stupidest little thing. She's literally me. When I was in school, I only went for a laugh and I hated everything. I was the typical dickhead. When did this come out? Because I want to see if they're the same age as me now. Okay, so I've just had a look and this girl right now is the same age as me, give or take, in current year. So this is going to be even more fun watching someone who at the same time as this was airing, I was also acting like. What did you call the teacher last time you had a row? Bitch. A bitch. <laughs> did ya? No you didn't, Charlotte. Oh, no you didn't. <laughs> I was never that bad. I never ins insulted the teachers. I was just a clown. That's all it was. This is a Kane is not good backstory for some reason. I was just always want to make people laugh. And all these years later, it's all I want to do still. I need to grow up, I think. <laughs> I think I need to... I need to venture out into the real world and stop trying to be a fucking comedian. Because, uh, is it working? Oh! <laughs> fuck. I'm gonna have a meltdown by the end of this video. Oh, fucking hell. I'm the reason why everyone argues. I'm the reason why everything is bad since dad buggered off. Yes, man, a broken home? Broken home, just like me? He's just like they're both like me in one. So it's two separate families where they send their kids off to the strict land world, wherever it is, wherever it may be. And this is the second one and he's just like me and she's just like me. I stand up for myself and I don't just bend over and take it whenever someone makes up a rule. See, whereas that's not like me, because I always bend over and take it. <sighs> I'm cutting that out. <laughs> Sam is from a devout Christian family. But since his parents split up a year ago and his father went to live abroad, he's lost his faith. I enjoy that he lost his faith because his family's marriage didn't work. <laughs> right, I'm atheist now. <laughs> God doesn't exist because my parents split up. Sam and Charlotte will be spending a week in Jamaica with parents who demand absolute respect. It's only a week. A week? 
I thought it was like a month or something. Well, it's going to be achieved in a week. You can't even get a tan in a week. Case in point, me. I didn't get, remember, joke, because I went on holiday a couple of weeks ago. I come back, didn't tan. Ah. I do hope this could be, you know, the start for Charlotte to sort herself out and realise there is more to life than arguing and getting the ump and, and stuff, you know. There's nothing more important to me in life than arguing, getting the hump, and stuff. Maypen, central Jamaica, where they'll be staying with the Rose family. There are rules of the house, they have to respect the rules, they have to obey the rules. When they obey the rules, there are consequences. I just focused on the football shirt that the dad's wearing. I'm assuming it's a football shirt. I wish this wasn't in three pixels so I could actually see what it is, but that is drippy. That fabric, nothing is sticking to that. That is the most waterproof thing I've ever seen. Dad Dave is a government driver. His wife Sharon is a full-time mother to their two daughters, 14-year-old Davia and 7-year-old Devine. Full-time mother, so you're getting no break from that. Oh my god. No break from your mum screaming at you, telling what to do. God damn. The Roses believe in physical punishment for children. Jamaican moment, to be honest. Has it actually sunk in yet that you're in Jamaica? Yeah, it's not a holiday, is it? I know it's not a holiday, but it's Jamaica. Is he wrong though? And I was just thinking as well, a ginger in Jamaica, he is gonna criss up, man. He's gonna be red raw with the sunbeams. I do smoke tobacco and I have done for quite a few years. Smoking is a no-no. No-no, we don't smoke. He said he's been smoking for years, yeah? And he's 17? I mean, to be fair, a lot of English kids smoke from the age of 12. Fun fact, a little bit, bit, bit about me again, my channel, I can say what I want, yeah? I've never in my life tried any cigarette, vape, any of that stuff, never. And I remember one time I was like 12 or something, 13, and I was playing outside, <laughs> having a little bit of fun, and someone my age, he was smoking. I couldn't comprehend that someone my age was smoking. So I thought it was a joke. I thought he was pretending to smoke. Uh, this is a shit story. It's not even really funny. It just shows how naive I was. And I was like, is that real? <laughs> like, you're, is that real? He was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was proper fucking chav. <laughs> smoking it up. And I just couldn't get my head around the fact that someone is smoking and you're 12. So look at him. Prolific smoker. And now he's not allowed to smoke because smoking is a no, no. There's no way I could have Sam under this roof looking like that. Because he doesn't look like a normal child. I think that's just being ginger. Sorry. Sorry to my ginger viewers, all three of you. Because she said doesn't look like a normal child. Ginger. It's not really normal, is it? <laughs> Dave kicks off with some do's and don'ts around the house. If you eat or drink from it, wash it. If you use it or move it, put it back. If you open it, close it. These rolls are far too much. He's taking the piss. Strictest parents, this is too strict, in my opinion. If you use it, wash it. If you move it, put it back. Fuck off. Fuck, you're fucking insane. Our kids call us mommy and daddy. We're expecting you guys to do the same. Not only mummy and daddy, if I had to call other people that I don't even know mum and dad, that's fucked. <laughs> now that's too much. Please can I just call you by your first name? Shannon, or Sharon, whatever her name is. I'm not calling you mum. I might have a problem with that. Why? Because the name Dad, I promised myself that I would never use that word again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, that's got me. That's so funny. Like he's an anime character. I swore that I would never utter the words the father once he left me. <laughs> Broken home kids be acting smoked out. That's why he's been smoking for so many years, because it's been a tough life. Oh, my parents are divorced. Fuck off. I haven't seen my dad in a decade. For Charlotte, it's all too much. I can't see my mum. I just don't want to be here. I fucking love it, man. She's like, fucking my mum. My mum's a slag. Fucking what a cunt. She didn't really say that, but she was basically alluding to the fact that she does not respect her mum or dad. She's been here for a day, not even. She's been here for eight hours and she's crying her eyes out saying this is too much. They were told to put stuff back, to wash stuff up when you've used it, keep it tidy, call them mum and dad. Oh, it's just too much. Oh, it's just too much. <laughs> yeah. Everyone attends St. Gabriel's Anglican Church on Sunday. 
Since losing his belief in God a year ago, Sam has not set foot in a church. Again, he lost his belief in God because his dad left. <laughs> you don't have to have cigarettes. You yes, can I have do. the sweets. These are gummy bears. These don't have any nicotine in them. You can take those gummy bears and do like this. And you can smell it and then you eat it. She tries. I like that. I like a seven-year-old has come up with an idea and he was quite aggressive towards it as well, which I like. He was talking to her like she was a little prick. <laughs> These are gummy bears and they don't have any nicotine in them. Oh, I am not smoking the entire time I'm here. I can have a nervous breakdown and end up a gibbering mess. I'm not having a fag while I'm here. Those that are watching that smoke, one, why? And two, that's, that's all I need to know, why? Look, look what it will apparently do to you. A gibbering mess because I'm not getting nicotine. Oh, mace, that's mental mace. Back home after an argument, Sam would normally storm out of the house. Instead, he sent to bed early. <laughs> oh! Oh fuck, imagine how that'd make you feel, man. Just sitting there proper prawn back, like shrimp in a chair. I don't really see the point of school. If you not if you don't want to learn, then I think you should. Like some people would prefer like going to work and stuff. So what's the point of going to school if you don't like it? The way this show is edited is now it's giving you a bit more backstory of them while they're in Jamaica, so that's what this is. Some people don't want to go to school, just start right while they work. <laughs> I fucking love it. And I'm pretty sure when I was this age, I was on their side. Like, yeah, 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 I don't want to go to school. Fucking school. I don't fucking care about school. And that's why I was thick as shit until about... A year ago, I'd say. A year ago is when I be finally became sentient. Yeah, I'd say that. I'd say once I started YouTube up again, that's when I became an adult. A any time before that... The teen's first task is to write a poem and an essay beginning with the line, Jamaica is... The ginger kid's gonna write something fucking edgy, isn't he? Don't, please don't. Jamaica is fucking shithole, making me take my piercings out, not letting me have a cigarette, need my nicotine. You got a seven-year-old telling me to eat some gummy fucking bears, telling me to sniff them. I'm getting on with the uh, people here. I'm the uh, only white guy in this school, so I've had a lot of people sort of like uh, looking at me. And um, because I'm wearing this hat, everyone thinks I'm a rascal. I mean, when I'm back in England, I'm hardly the most popular person in the world. I don't know if we're going to see the poems that they've written, but it just cut to this bit now where he's really excited that he's the centre of attention. Of course you are. You're the only white person they've probably ever seen. And they think you're a rasta because <laughs> you've got your hair in the fucking hat. <laughs> and he's over the moon because he's getting some attention. I'm called a ginger fucking knob all the time in school. Now they love me here. <laughs> Unlike in Britain, where teens are tutored in the art of safe sex, here the message is more simple. The only safe sex is no sex. Jamaica based, no sex until marriage based. It's no to alcohol. It's no to sexual advances, and it's no to drugs. The Jamaican government has come up with 101 helpful lines. They've put money and resources into saying, be halal based. Read one for me, sir. Uh, I want to break up until you can wait. Rolls off the tongue. <laughs> They're basically brainwashing them. If I believed what they said here, the minute anyone has the very first thrust of sex, they've got AIDS and they're already pregnant and they're already gonna die very, very soon. Fact, what do you mean? Why are you saying that like that's unreasonable? When that's true, that's why you wait until marriage and then guess what happens? When two people are married, STDs don't exist. SDIs, they're called now. They don't exist once you're married. Once you've got a ring on the finger, it protects you. My dad basically uh, was a genius and he was a complete and utter bastard. He was constantly belittling me and making me feel like I was totally, totally stupid. This is a good thing that he's fucked off then because what you'd want to do is, if anything, you'd have more faith in God because your dad's fucked off. This is so much better than I thought it would be. Trying to put myself in the shoes of these people because they were the same age as me. 
or they are the same age as me and were the same age when this was coming out. It's enjoyable to see because I've cut a lot out, but he's basically doubting himself because the teachers told him he's an A-star student, yet he got nothing but C's in his GCSEs. I can relate to being put down in general because I was a silly sausage in school. Teachers didn't like me. Fun fact, I was bullied by some of my teachers. Oh, woe is me. I'm still thinking about it all these years later. Couldn't give a fuck. But that was one of the reasons why I didn't do very good in school. So seeing him open up on camera saying that he was made to feel this, blah, 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 blah. There's no real jokes here. It's just me telling you a little bit about me because it's all about me over on canesnotgood.com forward slash canesnotgood.com. It's got to make us realise as well that they have to do this to survive basically we can just yeah. go to tesco's and get i don't know whatever they grow in a tomato <laughs> Oh, it's so good. So for time and all the other things that I've explained before, I've cut out a lot, but they've gone to a farm of the family of the mums, if that makes any sense what I said, and help grow the crops because that's what they sell to make money, etc. And that was her takeaway. We could just go to Tesco. <laughs> They've been given a chicken as a reward, yeah? And now she's got to kill it. And I eat an incredible amount of meat. I really wish that I didn't have to. I hate doing it, yeah? But I've got to because this is more important than an animal's life. Fact. <laughs> if I was told that I had to kill an animal or do any of that so I could eat it, I'm eating plants. Yeah, if I had to fend for myself, it's not happening. I'm eating vegetables, I'm eating potatoes, I'm eating soil, I'm eating bark off the trees, you know. I am not killing an animal, but because I have the disconnect of that tray of meat being just, a, it's meat, oh, it's the muscle gainer, oh, yeah. I don't care. But you tell me that I gotta kill one? No, I'd be crying just as much as her. <laughs> Come on, stop it, Come. It's not hard. It's not hard. It's not hard. It's not hard. I eat loads of vegetarian sausages and vegetarian this, 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 this. But after a while, I want to hurt myself. So instead, I eat animals that have already been hurt. But I've gone off on a tangent here about myself. This is funny. And I wish that vegan food tasted a little bit better. Because what the fuck is tofu? It's horrible. No, I'm not going to eat chicken anymore. I'll say that, I probably will probably go over and have KFC or something. <laughs> <laughs> She was crying her fucking eyes out and then the disconnect happened. I love KFC, fun. See what I mean? The way that society is, we're fucked that we just slaughter these animals that are intelligent and have all these fucking emotions and whatever the fuck. You know, cows and pigs, how smart are they? I don't know, but they've got some brains in them and we just go, ah, bacon, I love bacon. What the fuck, I'm vegan now? One day it'd be nice when I, when I give up, when I decide that animal life is more important than this, than this, than this, then maybe I'll become a vegan. <laughs> so because Ginger Boy's dad walked out on him, they've taken him to a family friend where his dad also walked out on him. The dad fucked off of this Jamaican kid and left him in charge of all the children. They also got hit by a hurricane. So he's gone, the hurricane did all of this. And then Ginger Kid's gone, oh, this makes my place look so much fucking better than yours. Mental. That's a fucking mental thing to say to someone. And here's the clip. The Korean tea. Oh, no. Oh, man. This place is like, makes my place look really, really good. <laughs> I thought it weren't that good, but it makes it look pretty good. <laughs> Oh, you look, you live in a fucking shit hole. <laughs> I live in a house in Brighton. <laughs> Insane, but he's young. Let it go. Last year, Malachi gave up his education to get a job to provide for his seven siblings after his father left. Imagine having seven children and then fucking off. You have got to have no soul. Oh, that's fucking ridiculous. Seven? I can understand one or two, maybe three, you know? You can't be bothered anymore, fuck them. Seven though. I said, God, you know the reason why I put me in this position? I used to be a Catholic, but I lost my faith. I used to believe in God and all that. You know, my dad left. I thought, oh, why would you do this to me, God? But now I've seen you living in a shithole, maybe I will believe again. Fucking. Coming here has made like everything different. 
I ain't complaining no more. There ain't nothing to complain about. Crazy that seeing that someone else is having a harder time than you can make you more grateful. Oh no, you're living like this. Oh, well, I'm going home in two days and you're going to live like this for the rest of your life. Seven, seven kids looking after in this. Well, I'm off to smoke by the pier in Brighton on Tuesday. Oh, sorry about you, though. It couldn't be me. But I will be more grateful. I won't call my mum a bitch anymore. I don't think my mum will argue. And I think because I've been away from her, it's just like, oh, maybe I do really miss her and appreciate the things she does. The reason I'm smiling is because, of course, they've given her braids. What I was going to say is, yeah, of course, this week has opened their eyes. Fine, yeah, great. I'm just laughing at the braids. They've they've done her up, man. I love it. To mark their departure, the Roses are throwing a farewell party for all the family. <laughs> Go white boy, go white boy, go! Go white boy, go! Hey, cos he is a rust though, he's got his hair under that hat. Thank you so much. Yes, Dad. my brother, yes, my brother. You've helped me out a huge amount, man. Yeah, what you have learned here, I hope yeah. you take it into practice and move on with your life. Things will work for you, my brother. I know that things will work for you, okay? This is fantastic. And this happened 14 years ago. It didn't, it's happening right now in my life. This is new information and he's about to go home and live a better life because this just just happening now. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Beautifully. Oh, thank you. Someone who loves me very much went to Jamaica and got me this ashtray. Oh. The things that can make people happy got a fucking ashtray. The person I went to Jamaica loves me very much that wants to help me. Oh, I have somewhere to put all me fucking ashes. Oh, me lungs. Oh, can you tell I'm not a smoker? Can you tell I hate smokers? If you're smoking, stop for me. Come on, for me, please. For me. <laughs> it made me realise I'm so genuinely sorry about the way that I've made things over the last year. I'm not doing that no more. That's not going to love you back. I love you too. I've said it before and I'll say it again. I'm knocking the same point home. What a surprise that seeing people live worse than you can open up your eyes to how good you've got it. Because thank fuck that's not me, am I right? And that was it. It ended right there. I had a fucking great time with this. I really did. And if you enjoyed this as well, give it a like. If I get 107 likes, I'll do another one on this in the near future. And if you got this far in the video, leave a comment saying, Kane, you look so happy because I'm so happy. And again, go and watch my last video that I did because it's the worst performing one and it will be right here for you to click. So please go and watch that. The random goal that I give myself is I'd like to get 500 plus views in a week. This is the first time I haven't hit that goal. So I will go and have a little cry now. I won't really because there's still hundreds of people that watch me and I'll see you next time with another video. Go watch it right now, please. Thank you so much. Go watch it right now. Go click it, click it, click it, click it, click it, click it, click it.